Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss the importance of aligning large language models, LLMs, with human preferences to ensure their safety and compliance with instructions. By making sure that LLMs follow human values and ethics, we can minimize the risk of generating harmful or biased content. One method, reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, achieves this by learning from human preference data and fine-tuning the LLM to maximize rewards while staying close to the original policy. Recently, new approaches like direct preference optimization, DPO, SLIC, and identity policy optimization have emerged, where the reward is based on the likelihood ratio between the LLM policy and a reference model. When paired preference data is not available, and instead, we have distinct marginals of chosen and rejected prompt response pairs, it is called the unpaired data setting. In this scenario, we introduce the KTO method, inspired by Kahneman and Tversky's prospect theory, to maximize the margin between chosen and rejected rewards. Our main contribution is the introduction of alignment via optimal transport, AOT, a method that focuses on distributional alignment by inducing stochastic dominance of chosen rewards over rejected ones. AOT aims to align the distribution of rewards in both paired and unpaired settings. It achieves this by optimizing a one-dimensional optimal transport problem efficiently. AOT has shown promising results on the alpaca leaderboard, outperforming other alignment strategies like DPO and KTO. By visually comparing quantile plots, we demonstrate that AOT leads to larger margins between chosen and rejected rewards across all percentiles, reflecting preferences not just on average but also distribution ally. Furthermore, we introduce the concept of first-order stochastic dominance, where one random variable dominates another if it has larger quantiles across all percentiles. We formalize this concept to explain how AOT ensures distributional preference alignment. In DPO, the reward optimization is based on the likelihood ratio between the LLM policy and a reference model, aiming to assign high rewards to positive responses and low rewards to negative responses. This approach relaxes the preference constraint through logistic loss, allowing for other preference optimization algorithms. Section Summary in this section, we introduce a new method called Alignment via Optimal Transport, AOT, that focuses on aligning large language models, LLMs, with human preferences by inducing distributional alignment. AOT aims to ensure that the LLM's chosen responses have larger rewards than rejected responses across all percentiles, reflecting preferences not just on average but distribution ally. By maximizing the margin between chosen and rejected rewards, AOT achieves state-of-the-art results without iterative training processes, showcasing its effectiveness in enhancing LLM performance based on human preference data. Section. Distributional preference via stochastic dominance. In this section, we gained a key insight by examining the pointwise constraint in equation, posneg pref. We realized that we can transform it into a distributional constraint by focusing on the stochastic dominance of two random variables. One random variable, z caret plus underscore theta, represents the logarithm of the ratio of the probability of positive outcomes under the policy we are optimizing to the probability under a reference policy. The other random variable, z caret underscore theta, does the same for negative outcomes. This approach is particularly useful in scenarios where we do not have access to triplets of prompts and responses as needed by certain methods. This aligns with the setup considered by KTO. In the unpaired setting, we do not have triplets of prompts and positive, negative responses. Instead, we have separate access to distributions of positive and negative samples that we aim to reward and penalize, respectively. This leads us to define the distributional preference in the unpaired setting. On the other hand, in the paired setting, we can rewrite the posneg pref equation in a different form. To enforce a distributional constraint, we require a paired preference dataset and impose stochastic dominance between the log likelihood ratios of positive and negative outcomes under the policy being optimized and a reference policy. 
This ensures that the optimized policy has a higher log probability difference between positive and negative outcomes compared to the reference policy. These distributional preference constraints can be applied in LLM alignment, where the goal is to align two distributions based on certain preferences. The optimization problems arising from these constraints involve real-valued random variables dependent on a parameter vector. By formulating these problems as optimal transport tasks with convex costs, we aim to minimize the violation of the stochastic dominance constraint. To tackle the computational challenges associated with these optimization problems, we introduce a computational algorithm based on sorting empirical measures. This algorithm simplifies the inner optimization problem for a fixed parameter and allows for efficient gradient computation. Additionally, we propose a method called soft sorting to enhance the optimization process by incorporating entropic regularization for smoother permutations. In summary, our approach leverages distributional preferences and optimal transport techniques to align distributions effectively in both unpaired and paired settings. Section Summary In this section, we explore the concept of distributional preference through stochastic dominance, which allows us to frame constraints in terms of the likelihood ratio of positive and negative outcomes under different policies. We distinguish between unpaired and paired settings, where in the former, we aim to reward positive prompt response pairs and penalize negative samples without access to triplets, while in the latter, we impose stochastic dominance constraints on paired preference datasets to optimize policies. This approach involves aligning policies based on optimal transport problems with convex costs, utilizing techniques like soft sorting to address gradient dependencies and ensure efficient optimization. Section FSD AOT with unpaired data. In this section, we focus on the statistical analysis of unpaired maths F AOT and defer paired maths F AOT to the appendix since it has a similar analysis. We start by making assumptions about the OT cost H, the reward R, and the policy hypothesis class H. We assume that the OT cost H and the reward R have certain properties, and the policy hypothesis class H satisfies specific conditions. These assumptions help us analyze the problem effectively. The assumption about the OT cost involves considering finite positive constants M and R and a relaxation of the zero over one loss. The reward assumption states that the reward function is bounded within a certain range. The assumption on the hypothesis class of the policy ensures that the policies satisfy certain constraints related to the reference policy. These assumptions are important for controlling the covering number of the policy class H and ensuring the existence of the minimizer within H. For example, the assumptions on the OT cost can be satisfied by using specific loss functions like the hinge squared loss or the logistic loss. By relaxing the unpaired stochastic dominance constraint problem, we define the OT cost function C and introduce the concept of C concave functions. We define a set F underscore C based on C concave functions and establish a min max problem formulation using duality. Considering samples from the data, we formulate the empirical problem related to the violation of stochastic dominance. The sample complexity of this violation is analyzed, leading to a theorem on the sample complexity of dominance violation for unpaired maths F AOT. Based on our assumptions, we derive a parametric rate in terms of the sample size n. This analysis results in an informal corollary indicating how the violation of stochastic dominance converges to zero as the sample size increases. In summary, our analysis in this section provides insights into the statistical aspects of unpaired maths F AOT and sheds light on the convergence behavior of dominance violation under certain assumptions. Section Summary In this section, we focus on the statistical analysis of unpaired maths F AOT and defer paired maths F AOT to the appendix since it undergoes a similar analysis. We establish assumptions on the OT cost, the reward, and the policy hypothesis class, ensuring the existence of the minimizer in H and controlling the covering number of RCIRC H. By relaxing the unpaired stochastic dominance constraint problem, we define the OT cost function and explore the sample complexity of the violation of stochastic dominance, 
showing that the expected violation of the desired dominance in AOT unpaired diminishes as the sample size increases. Section. Experiments. In this section, we evaluated the performance of our proposed method called Maths F AOT on different base LLMs and datasets by comparing it with other alignment algorithms available. We compared Maths F AOT with other alignment methods like direct preference optimization, DPO, Kahneman Tversky optimization, KTO, and identity policy optimization, IPO. These methods work on paired preference data, except for KTO which can handle both paired and unpaired prompt response samples. Traditionally, model alignment is the final step applied to the LLM after pre-training and fine-tuning. We selected various models at different stages with different performance levels, all belonging to the 7B parameter model family. We used a model called Merlinite 7B for our experiments, which is a variant of Mistral 7B v0.1 that has been fine-tuned on data from a synthetic data generator using a taxonomy-driven process. We also considered other popular LLMs like Mistral 7B, OPENHERMES 2.5 Mistral 7B, Starling, and Llama 3 to 8B. For our experiments, we used both paired and unpaired datasets. The paired dataset we used is the Ultra Feedback Binarized Dataset with over 60k training samples. The unpaired datasets we used are PKU Beaver Tails with over 300k samples and Help Steer with around 35k samples. We used different evaluation metrics like Alpaca Eval and Open LLM Benchmark to measure the performance of the alignment methods. Our implementation is based on the Hugging Face Alignment Handbook and we used 8H100 GPS for our compute setup. We employed LoRa for fine-tuning during alignment and the FSDP setup to train the model across multiple GPUs. The training of each 7B parameter model on the ultra-feedback dataset took about an hour, and the evaluation on Alpaca Eval and Open LLM benchmarks took an additional hour. In our results, we compared the performance of Maths FAOT with other baselines like KTO, DPO, and IPO on the paired ultra-feedback binarized dataset. Our Maths F, AOT, unpaired approach scored significantly higher on Alpaca Eval, GPT-4, compared to the base Merlinite 7B model. This result positioned our Maths F, AOT, aligned LLM on the Alpaca Eval leaderboard ahead of strong competitors like KTO Mistral Pair and other 7B parameter models. We also performed well on other LLM benchmarks. The evaluations were challenging as they were done using zero-shot prompts, resulting in lower overall performance across metrics and baselines. We also explored the impact of batch size and the choice of loss function on the performance of Maths F, AOT, as well as the effect of beta on alignment performance. Our results showed that Maths F, AOT, is robust across different settings.